This is Boxing Tickets NA. We are delighted to be joined once again with the silent assassin, Ryan, o Ryan O'Rourke. How are you, Ryan? Good, Steve. How are you? I'm fantastic. The sun's shining here in Belfast today. It's a beautiful Friday. It's a, the perfect start of the weekend. What's it like for you in Dublin today, weather-wise? Well, I'm looking out. I'm looking out the gym door now. It's The sun is beaming out of the sky. There must be something wrong going on in Ireland. It is, it is. <laughs> Although, I, I was actually sending my message last week. It always seemed to be when kids are going back to school, that, that first week to go back to school, the weather's good. So I don't know, it's, it's always good. Um, so you'll be looking forward to getting out into the sunshine and sort of relax a wee bit today, probably our last summer's day of, of 2024. Uh, yeah, we didn't get many in the meeting, did we? We've got about two weeks down here anyway. Well, yeah, I, don't think, I don't think we've been too much different. Um, it's, it's a strange one, Ryan. Obviously, you're pro now four and a half years, and it took us over four years to do an interview, and now we're doing back to back interviews. It's like a bus. You wait long enough for one and two come along at once, but great to obviously to have you back on. Um, last time we obviously spoke, you were obviously returning to the ring um, from obviously injury. You'd obviously you hurt your hand, so you're nearly out of the nearly out of the ring a year, but um, kept your unbeaten record going. I know box rec says eleven and zero. We obviously discussed this the last time. You're you're technically twelve and zero, but I'm guessing it's good for you that obviously you were probably able to to get the cobwebs off in some way and make sure the hand was all right, sort of in your fight with Michael Bullock. Yeah, that's what I, that's what that fight was kind of all about. Was more just the cobwebs off, getting back in the ring, getting back punching, and uh, seeing how we got on. Now, when I wasn't there, I, I did, sorry, I yeah, did that. Yeah. Yeah, well, when I wasn't the ring there, I did definitely feel the effect of being out of the ring for a year. You know, your timing, your kind of your range, everything, everything was kind of it was off for a good two, three rounds. It, it took me three, four, three, four rounds just just to get going, and then obviously it was only a, a, a little six rounder. So again, I got going. The fight was over. I would have liked it to be more rounds, but um, the next fight coming up will be an eight rounder. So. I'll be, I'll be ready for that. Yeah. I guess sometimes with what nearly a year out of the ring, sometimes you don't know how you're going to perform until you get in there. You can do all the training you want, but until you're in that live fight environment, like you're sort of going, it's scheduled for six rounds, and you're getting the six rounds and going, like, I want more. If you'd have done it the opposite way and done it as an eight rounder, and after six you're going, I wish it was a six rounder. You just can't win sometimes, can you? Nah, you don't, you, as you said, you don't know, you don't know how it's going to go until you're in there, but um. I was, definitely. Say, I was going to say sorry to you there. Like it's your first time as a pro ever. Like your dad wasn't in your corner. Like your dad was away on a cruise. Like it must have felt weird for you. Obviously, someone else was giving you instructions. I was definitely. It was definitely different. Yeah, of course I would have liked to have me me dad in my corner. But um, we got we got through it. He'll be he'll be back for the next one, and uh, that's really all that counts. Yeah. So you're not ditching them now then, obviously now you've done one. They always say sometimes until you see something else, you know, you know, they always say like the grass isn't always greener on the other side. So we're obviously not slating who stood in on the night, but like it's, it's the dad, your dad's always going to be the coach unless he plans cruises around your fights again. Yeah, yeah. he hasn't got sacked yet anyway. He still has his job. Let's <laughs> do many more of these cruises. <laughs> I know, what, what's it like? Like, like obviously... You know, I know your dad's your biggest supporter and everything else they got, but I guess when you got a fight late notice and you hadn't been in the ring for nearly a year, like it was, you can't take turn down these sort of opportunities as well. Like you have to get back in there because the longer you're out of the ring, the probably the harder harder it is to train and get prepared for a fight. Definitely, yeah. Like I'm a big believer in activity is key. I know I haven't had a lot of activity over even the last the last two years. <clears throat> I've been kind of a fight here and a fight there. Every every couple of months, but um, definitely now that all the injuries are gone, I'm looking to get back as active as possible. Because in the next by next year, I'll be looking to take some some big fights. Hopefully, push on for some titles. And as I said, activity is is going to be key coming into that. You want to have as many rounds banked as you possibly can when you're coming into these sort of fights. You want to have everything on point. You want to know what you can do, what you need to improve on. You want, as I said. When I was out of the ring for 12 months, every, everything felt off when I was in there for two, three rounds. And if you're in the, these big sort of fights, two, three rounds can be the difference between winning and losing. 
like when when you're saying there, obviously, you know, I know you're only 25 and like you've had 12 fights already. Like with the t- time, I guess it's lost, but obviously an injury sometimes there's nothing you can do about that. Like how many more fights would you ideally like to have had at the stage? Well, maybe in my opinion, for a, for a prospect, you're looking at you'd like to have about four fights a year. That would be that be decent decent enough for a prospect. But one fight every like sort of three months. So that would leave me on what maybe sixteen. About sixteen, say. I'm probably about three or four fights off, maybe five fights off where I'd like to be. But um, we can't dwell on the past. You can only make up for lost time. Uh, I'm looking to get back of act as active as possible and make up for that the last time. I guess it's some of them things sometimes, like an injury just can't help that. Like obviously in your head, you're sort of going, well, I want to be 16 and 17. I know you know with that injury then that there's nothing you could have done to prevent that. So like it's not putting any pressure on you when you sort of return to the ring that you want to take fights back to back. It's sort of, you still try to schedule a fight every three months. Yeah, as I said, like I, I want to be as active as possible. If I can get a fight every three months, that's, that's sort of the, the, the perfect line, like... The perfect line that I'm looking for to come into these big fights. So any fight that comes your way now, I'm kind of I'm looking to take. The obviously I know that obviously you're 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 managed by well, promoted sorry to star boxing. Um, hopefully I'm obviously not sort of jumping the gun too much, but it but it looks like you're potentially going to be back out again, 19th of October, and a card yet to be confirmed. Hopefully all being well that it all comes about, but. Like is it is this for you now? It's sort of a big end of the year. It's sort of maybe one in October and maybe maybe push for another one in December. Definitely, yeah. As as you said, there we're looking. There's a night. There's a show on the nineteenth of October. We start boxing. That I should be more than ninety percent confirmed on. Like should be confirmed by next week. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, get on that one. Got a good fight under my belt, and I know that eight rounder. Get through that, and then hopefully again to the end of the year, maybe November, December time. Get another another fight under the belt, another good fight, and it'll leave me in a good position starting twenty twenty five. So, so sort of, you know, I guess it's sort of still continuing to blow the cobwebs off. Obviously, maybe over eight rounds, and 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 in another fight, and then going into twenty twenty five. Then is is that what the, what we classify then as strap season? Then for you, sort of five years of pro, sort of looking at these title fights. Well, that's the plan. Yeah, obviously, as I said, I want to get back active, get this. Hopefully two fights will be built by the end of the year and that should leave me in a perfect position then for any sort of sort of title that, that's that's coming my way that I can uh, just just go straight for them, yeah. You you've plenty of obviously good development obviously in, in fighting obviously in you know different countries and I know obviously when you started off it was COVID and everything else. Like you've a really good you built the foundations probably well as your dad would say. So all the foundations are, are there, you're ticking the boxes. You come through the mental aspect of an injury, you know, and probably a bit of ring rust and things like that. So, like, by the time it comes, the title fights at the start of next year, you'll be more and well prepared for them. Definitely, yeah. As you said, I'm 25 now as well. I've, I feel like my man strength is definitely coming through now. In the, in that year that I was ill, I didn't just sit around and do kind of, kind of fuck all. Like, I actually I stayed in the gym, even though I couldn't punch. I felt it. I felt it filled out a lot as well. I've definitely grown into the weight, big at the weight, like so. I definitely feel when the titles still come, I'll be more than ready, more than ready to take them. You, obviously, you, you, yourself and obviously John Kenny are obviously are, are stable mates, and obviously have been probably you know the whole sort of time. Like when John obviously picked up his injury towards you know the end of obviously last year, obviously it's a strange one because obviously Liam's now part of the stable as well. I was saying to John. Is it strange? Like, obviously, the two he's fought in the Katie Taylor card at three arena. You obviously stopped them, and now he's your stable mates. I know they haven't trained together yet, but, like, were you able to pass on an acknowledgement sort of to John when, obviously, he's going through the hand surgery? Do you know that you're the same sort of step as him? These were sort of both recovering from injuries to help each other along. Yeah, it was, it was, a, bit of a, it was a bit of a strange one, actually, because we, we more or less both had the exact same injury. His was maybe... a to a war, worse extent, he obviously needed surgery on his, or he just needed kind of time and a bit, a little bit of therapy to heal mine. But yeah, um, it nearly doesn't feel as bad when you're going through it with someone, whereas when you're going through it on your own, like so, 
But I don't know about him, but maybe it helped me out a little bit as well. It, it's one of them things sometimes, isn't it? You know, it's, it's like a negative where if you go to him, oh, my hand, so that they are my hand ditch, and he's going through the same thing. He's can moan about it together, whereas when you have it yourself, you can't really moan to somebody else because they're not going through it. He knows the pain and the feeling that you were feeling also. Exactly, yeah. No, but nobody else knows exactly how I both feel. And like, not only that, that we're injured, but like, obviously as fighters, we want to fight, man. That's that's all we that's all we can that's all we really think about doing. Like so, when you have someone to relate to that with, it definitely makes it a little bit easier, anyway. Like I, I think I'm not sure if we spoke about this the last time, but obviously you know four and a half years as a pro now. I, I know obviously you'd like to be a bit further on, but but like as professional boxing, probably everything you thought it was going to be and more. Like how's it? How's your expectations of? Of life as a pro so far, other than the fact that you haven't been as active as you wanted, is everything? Is there anything you sort of don't like? You know, I guess nobody likes making weight. Um, you know, I guess that's the, the norm with everybody. But like, as as professional boxing, everything you dreamed it was going to be so far. I don't know. I don't know about that. There's definitely a, there's definitely a lot of politics involved in it. When you, when they get into it, it's not just as straightforward as training, fighting. And repeat that process. There's a lot of things behind the scenes that um, maybe some people don't know about, and uh, it's definitely hard to take sometimes. Like when all you want to do as a fighter is fight, and there's uh, there's some people that are kind of in in the way of that, and um, it's definitely tough to take. Yeah, but all you can do is. It's, it's get on with it. Keep doing what you're doing. I know, obviously, I know, obviously, off camera, obviously, I've spoke to, obviously, you, you know, your dad and things like that in the past, and sometimes it's better sometimes saying nothing about some of the politics that's going on. Like, I know for you, it'll obviously hurt you a lot, but hopefully, as they say, that time can be a healer and and, th- and, and certain things can get sorted out in the future because, you know, I know, obviously, a burning desire you'll probably have. Not the obviously, they sort of label it and sort of, you know, I know that burning desire you have. It's probably what's hurting you at the moment, you know, but I say hopefully in time things can sort themselves out because in the, the day politics don't belong in sport, you know, they don't belong in any sport. And when it when obviously it's 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 stopping you from sort of loving the game. Well, not to say you don't you're not loving the game, Ryan, but but obviously you'd love the game even more if these certain things weren't there. But you know it definitely makes it harder to love it. Definitely makes it harder. But, but in some ways, it not make you stronger as a person. They obviously know you you're coming through. Sort of, you know, if if they said that boxing was all sunshine and rainbows, you know, like everybody would love it. Everybody would be a boxer. You know, it, it takes a certain sort of grade of a person to go. You know what? This is what's going on. But it can get through it. You know, if you can get through that, you can get through anything. Sorry, Steve, something fell down. Go on. <laughs> um. Yeah. So sort of saying, like, you know, th- what you've had to obviously come through so far, it, it's making you. A stronger, more rounded person because of it. Definitely, yeah. It makes you more resilient. It makes you more of, of a point to prove. And uh, boy, hook a boy, crook. Or however long it's gonna take, I'm gonna prove that point. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get where I want to be, and nobody's gonna get in the way of that. And that's that's the, sometimes the goals and the determination they need. Sometimes it's when when things are in the way, it's knocked in the door and and, and charged straight through. Exactly. All you can do is keep knocking. Someone has to answer eventually. Somebody has to answer eventually, exactly is right. But look, Ryan, good to obviously get a catch up. Obviously, I look forward to obviously getting this this fight agreed and over the line, obviously, for the return back in October. I'll let you go and enjoy obviously some of this Friday sunshine. Uh, ah. and, and I'm sure I'm do catch up with you very soon. Definitely. Nice one, Steve. Cheers, Ryan. Take care. Thanks. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.